SR7 parents and teachers families. Welcome to the first ever virtual game night. We always have game night in November. This year it looks a little bit different because of COVID, we decided we'd have a virtual game night. It's not exactly what we wanted, but it's still going to be fun. We're still going to learn a lot about gameplay and we have a few surprises for you along the way. First off, I kind of want to tell you about our past game nights. We always bring out all of our games. We set them up throughout the whole building and you come in, bring your kiddos and you are able to play every game we have. And the best part is we clean all of it up for you and you go on your merry way. <laughs> well, this year it's a bit different. I'm in my living room with all of my games, but I thought I could still share with you the importance of gameplay why we play games, and give you some ideas for games to play with your kiddos of all ages. We have game ideas for babies, we have game ideas for toddlers, and we have game ideas for preschoolers. The really good thing about having a virtual game night is we decided instead of just one night out of the month that we talk about games, why not talk about this all month long? So every week, Friday nights, we're going to share a game night video with you. Um, we might make a game, we might play a game, we'll just talk about some games. We might have a theme night at the very end. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. But that way, we're talking about it all month long instead of just one night. And what we decided is we'd like to challenge you all of our LSR7 parents and teachers families to share your game night with us. You can comment on our YouTube channel, on our videos. You can upload pictures or comment on our Facebook page and share your game night traditions with us so that other families can see how you celebrate game night. What do you do for it? It's a great way to share ideas so we think that's kind of a fun, exciting twist to this that we didn't expect to have for game night. Tonight, I thought we'd start with some games for our littlest learners. Games like Peekaboo, Pat a Cake, So Big. These social games like this do so much for your baby's development. Every time you play games with your baby like that, you are building connections and pathways in their brain for future learning. It doesn't seem like you're doing much when you're playing pat a cake with your baby, but that repetition and that continued response every time builds that pathway for your baby's brain and makes it easier for them to learn bigger things later on. Plus, babies love to play social games. They love to see your face and they love face-to-face -face interaction. So play pat a cake, play peekaboo, play so big. So Big was probably my kiddo's most favorite baby game we played. We did it every time for diaper changes, and it came to be that they would lay down on that table. I would say, how big is baby Owen? And lift his little arms up and say, so big. Before I knew it, Owen was doing it all on his own. His little arms would shoot up before I even got the words out. So he knew what to expect, and it was such a fun time for us. And it wasn't even like you have to sit down and play an actual game with your baby. Just a social game like that is all you need to help your baby learn and develop and grow and be able to play bigger, better games later on. For older kiddos, the game choices are endless. There are card games, all kinds, go fish, old maid, just a regular deck of cards. There are cooperational games where you work together instead of a winner. Everybody wins together, so those are super nice. Um, memory games are terrific. There are tons of dice games that you can play with kiddos that are great for learning those number patterns and mental math later on when they get to kindergarten. Um, what else do we have? There are path games. There are all gone games all kinds of different games for bigger kiddos. I'm gonna share with you a couple of my most favorite games, beginning preschooler games um, tonight. And then coming up, maybe in our next video, we'll make a game. I'll help you, I'll show you some different games you can make with just things around your house. But for tonight, let me show you my most favorite games. Now, 
maybe a little bit boring, but Candyland is probably my most favorite beginning preschooler game for so many reasons. First off, it's bright, it's colorful, it's fun, it's quick, it's easy. There are so many benefits to playing Candyland with your kiddo. Plus, little ones of all ages can play this game. There are color cards, so you're not having to count or do anything like that for a kiddo who's not quite there yet with those skills. All they have to do is match the color. They draw the card, they go to the spots, they match the colors. Um, it is a terrific first game. And remember, as you're playing games with your toddler preschooler, you don't have to follow all the rules. It is okay if you modify and make it to where it works for your child and your family. In the beginning, when you're playing these games, you just wanna have fun together and get the general idea of turn-taking and following some directions, maybe not all. Um, just that is enough for gameplay with your kiddos. So Candyland is by far one of my most favorites. Probably my second favorite is this one. Don't break the ice. So this is probably my third, second, third, don't break the ice game. The, uh, it's a very well-loved game and it's been through a lot. So I've had to purchase multiple of this game. Um, don't play this one unless you are ready to maybe have a headache by the end of it because it's quite noisy. So, but the benefits of this game are super awesome. It's super fun. Um, lots of good hand-eye coordination. You're hitting those blocks of ice. So much teaching of patience in this game because every kiddo wants to hit every single block. But if we talk about only one, that's teaching a whole lot of self-regulation and waiting. We hit one block and then it's the next person's turn. And that's a hard skill to learn for little people. So this one's super duper fun. One of my most favorite games. As you can see, I have tons of games to share with you. But what I really like to see is the games you choose to share with us. We can't wait to see your videos, your pictures, your comments on our Facebook page and our YouTube video. Just let us know what games are your most favorite? What family game traditions do you have at your house? That's all for this week's virtual game night. I hope you can join us again next week for our next installment. Next week, we'll be making a homemade game I'll share some of my most favorite homemade games and give you some ideas of games you can make with just things you have around your house. We hope you have a great family game night, LSR7 PAT families, and we just wanna thank you once again for letting us be a part of your little one's lives. Have fun!